Hey guys and welcome back to a slightly chaotic weekly vlog featuring a lot of procrastinating, a lot of food and drinks and not a lot else but I hope you enjoy. Good morning, it is Monday and I need to get my life together today because I have not done any uni work since Thursday. I feel like first semester I was constantly working, I was constantly behind even though I was constantly working. However this semester it just seems to be a lot more chill. Today I need to catch up on a lecture that I missed on Friday. I need to do some seminar work because I've got a seminar at three and I've also got some pre-recorded lectures that I need to do, post some lub stuff, I've got a FinSites meeting, you know the drill by now. I feel like in these weekly vlogs I'm always trying to find something because last week it was a house plan and this week it's a clothing bank because I did a wardrobe clear out yesterday kind of randomly there was no real reason for me to do so I just felt like I had way too much stuff and my wardrobe door just keeps opening on its own and I think the actual problem is the hinge I've given a load of stuff to my housemates obviously and then I've got a pile of stuff that I need to put on Depop and then I've also got some stuff that I need to take to the charity shop as well however obviously the charity shops aren't open so I'm trying to instead find a clothing bank knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom luckily this week though I was a lot more efficient actually finding what I wanted I found a bank pretty quickly whereas in this case they define non-product related um, uh, attributes maybe sort of like fitness supplements and fitness food so protein bars protein powder <laughs> Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Spotlight Oral Care. I feel like I don't really speak about health and beauty brands that I use that often on this channel. However, I have been loving using their Sonic toothbrush and also their whitening kit recently. Firstly, let me just talk about this toothbrush. I have been using it for, I want to say about three weeks now and it's still has not died on me. The battery life of this thing is absolutely incredible. I still have not had to charge it. It's also got three different settings, which I think is really cool. I like using the whitening setting. However, it's also got a clean setting and a sensitive setting. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the shape of the toothbrush head is slightly different to other ones that I've used. And it's because this toothbrush was designed by actual dentists and not just engineers. And that's another thing about Spotlight Oral Care that I love. The brand was started by two female dentists who were sisters and we love female-led companies on this channel. I drink a lot of tea and coffee, as you can probably see through my videos. However, I feel as though their whitening kit has really helped remove stains on my teeth. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I feel like my teeth definitely look whiter recently. All of their products are vegan, they're cruelty-free, they're toxin-free all of that jazz that we love. And they're also a very sustainability focused brand. So the packaging is recyclable. Even this tube is actually recycled as well. If you're interested in trying Spotlight Oral Care's products, and I highly recommend that you guys do, then if you use the link that I'll put down below in the description and also use my code, which is LydiaV30, you can actually get 30% off your order. Good morning, it is Tuesday today and me and Maeve are about to head to Morrison's because we need to get some bits for Freya's birthday which is on Thursday and also pancake day which is today. We're actually planning a bottomless brunch for Freya's birthday. I need to find some Pessoa because we're gonna make porn star martinis. I tried to order it but then Sainsbury's didn't have it and substituted it 
for three cans of vodka lime soda, which just isn't even close to being the same thing. Quinn or Matten Hatten Talaken? Sweenicle. Quinn or Matten Draika Ol? Ol? Ol. Once we were back from Morrison's, I just did a few bits and bobs like my Danish practice that I just showed, and then I had a lecture at 11 for supply chain management. Chat is off. I've just had lunch, and now I've got a really bitty all over the place afternoon. I'm just gonna go to the post office quickly now and post some Depop parcels. And then at two, I've got a TikTok masterclass with my YouTube management team Team, which is gonna be interesting. I mean, if I suddenly become TikTok famous, then don't mind me. And then I've got a Lubs meeting at five and I still need to do both of the lectures that I was supposed to do yesterday, but haven't finished yet. We are currently um, the most downloaded video app in the world. Despite how bored I just looked in that clip, the talk was actually really interesting. And then after that, I just spent the afternoon catching up on all the lectures that I needed to do and I've been putting off. And then at five, I had a Lib Society committee meeting. We've literally bought pre-made butter and I've still managed to somehow make it look weird. That one's okay. Have you seen the state of this one? It's Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay, sort of. Oh. First pancakes done! <laughs> just had our pancakes which were so pang and now we're going on a very spontaneous trip to the big tesco in round hay i don't know if this is just a british thing but going to the big tesco is always so exciting <laughs> Oh my god, I look so red. I've just got back from running a few errands, but it's currently quarter past 12. I have a workshop at one that I have not prepared for, so I'm really hoping I don't have to do a lot of work for it. However, I think it's just breakout room based, so I don't need to be that prepared or anything. And we've just ordered sushi for lunch, which is very exciting because Maeve had 50% off, so we've ordered some wasabi. I literally have a fridge full of food, but never gonna turn down sushi. Luckily, there wasn't much work at all that I had to do. I just had to read a few articles. And one thing that I do love about my modules this year is the fact that we look at so many case studies like this. So I guess that's a um, market requirements perspective, maybe. Like focusing on what um, drew customers to them in the first place. Yeah. It's now five o'clock and for the next hour, I've got a Lubs event. It's a collaborative event with Entrepreneur Society and it's all about LinkedIn and it's a round table with four LinkedIn experts and somehow I have ended up co-hosting it. So kind of nervous. I always get really nervous before presenting, even though obviously it's on Zoom. Seems like a really good turnout for this though, which is good. Yeah, it seems decent. I've got like 48 registrations. Wow, that's amazing. What kind of content should students be looking to post and how often? The event went really smoothly and we actually had such a good turnout, which made me really happy and I really enjoyed co-hosting it actually. Then that evening, we all spent a few hours decorating the living room for Freya's birthday on Thursday. So we had this set of decorations. So it was a garland, balloons, and while we were decorating, Megan and May made this Lotus Biscoff birthday cake which was honestly incredible and then I made these vodka jelly shots I 
hello hello it is thursday today it's currently nearly two i think i literally had the most stressful morning because i was just running around trying to get last minute bits for freya's birthday i then had a marketing lecture at 11. i then tried to shave and fake tan using like express tan and as you can see it didn't really work but i'm gonna start getting ready now and then we need to start making all of the food and stuff for bottomless brunch so Obviously, when I'm saying bottomless brunch, I'm using that term very loosely. But just making breakfasty type foods, even though we're eating at like 3 p.m. And then we're making different cocktails. So we're making espresso martinis, porn star martinis, and sex on the beach, I think. But I'm very excited, even though obviously we're just doing it in our own living room and we're just doing it as a house. So I'm all ready now. I have not been this stressed up in God knows how long. So this dress is actually my housemate Abby's. So sorry, I have no idea where it's from. I've just got some white heels on with it. My Fitbit, I should probably take that off. And then I've gone for like a half up half down. I'm gonna go downstairs now and finish getting everything ready. We've still got the food to do and stuff. I can't believe we're literally getting drunk at 3 p.m. in the afternoon on a Thursday. not even the morning actually it is literally 1 p.m in the afternoon <laughs> it's safe to say i am feeling a little bit worse for wear today actually not as bad as i thought i would though because we were drinking for quite a while like i didn't go to sleep until like three in the morning and then i woke up really early this morning because it's supposed to be our results day today for our exams that we did back in january however half the marks aren't out yet the only one that i've been able to find is my marketing exam result and I'm gonna film all of my reactions to my marks, so that's gonna be a separate video, probably next week's video, but it depends when we actually get our marks back. Some of my friends have had emails from other modules saying like, oh, they've been delayed because of COVID and lockdown, but like, we still have to do the exams. How is that fair? I don't get it. If it was that much of a problem, you marking them, then why did we have to do them in the first place? <laughs> Okay, this is coming out very beige on camera, but for lunch today is sort of like a hangover treat. I made the TikTok feta pasta. You basically put tomatoes. I also put some mushrooms because I needed to use them up. Um, olive oil and then a whole block of feta in the oven. I put it in for about 40 minutes and then I've put some garlic in there, some fresh basil, and then also some spinach because I needed to use it up. It's now half past three and I'm still yet to do any of the uni work that I said I was going to do today. All I've done is that seminar, but I had pre-recorded lectures I needed to do and other bits and bobs. And what have I done? I've just spent an hour making pasta. And now I'm going to go on a little walk with Maeve because I need to return a parcel. I'm going to go grab a coffee as well because coffee is definitely needed. And I think we're also going to nip into Morrison's as well because I need a few bits from there. So it turns out Costa closes at 4 p.m. now, so we didn't end up getting a coffee, but it was still so nice to get out for a walk. I feel like it does bits when you're hungover. And when I got back, I was editing an IGTV for Leeds Fin Sites. For the past few hours, I have just been sorting out my video that's going up tomorrow. It was the Get Productive With Me. Hopefully you've watched that already. If you haven't, then make sure to watch it after this video. And I was also editing a little IGTV video for Leeds Fin Sites. A little update on the exam marks as well. I have actually got all of the ones that I was expecting today back now, which is good. Obviously they didn't all come out at 10.30, which is a bit annoying. Like they could have let us know that they were gonna be a little bit delayed, but I do have them back. I think next week's video will be my results video. Make sure to subscribe to stick around for that video. But if you've enjoyed this one, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, like I've just said, and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye guys. Yes.